Now, Singapore's property market is showing signs of slowing down. Following last year's cooling measures, a first quarter estimates reveal growth in prices of private and resale flats have eased. And public housing resale flats rose 2.3 percent, its lowest since the third quarter of 2020. Private property prices climbed just 0.4 percent from the previous quarter's 5 percent. Our private home prices in the core central region fell 0.5 percent, while the rest of the central region was down 3 percent, reversing growth from last quarter. Properties outside the central region went up by almost 2 percent, weaker than the nearly 6 percent last quarter. However, landed property prices continued its strong growth of 4%. One analyst says the weaker prices show the effect of cooling measures announced in December where, when property taxes were raised and loan limits tightened. Still, there's expectations that prices will pick up from the third quarter. There's a lot more home buyer demand now and owner-occupier demand. And because of that, we might not go through the full you know, let's say six months of a period where everybody watches and wait, you know, the period of pause, um, we might come out of it sooner rather than later. We just really need perhaps a big significant launch that captures the public imagination to refuel uh, and re-establish buyer demand in today's market.